complain about these invisible rays, think that they're making them sick. But doctors say, you know, there's no evidence or link between Wi-Fi and illness. So it's pretty much certain that all of these safety limits um, and, you know, all, they're going to err on the side of safety, but the side of safety that's good for the industry. You know, all Apple isn't going to let you shut down their <laughs> cellular reign just because it's making a few people feel a little bit ill. Now, so it's not going to be, you know, good for society. Wi-Fi is everywhere. It is ubiquitous. And to help you understand that, three Scandinavian guys set out on asses are even more vulnerable than children. So pregnant women should absolutely avoid exposing their fetus to microwave radiation. Now, we spoke to Dr. David O. Carpenter last year. He uh, testified on this issue before the president's cancer panel a number of years ago. And he is now coming up after this segment, Vani Hari, the food babe, is going to be joining me to talk about her next mega campaign to get corporations to take dangerous chemicals out of our food supply that are slowly killing and harming us. But what about something else that is rather ubiquitous now? I'm talking about Wi-Fi. Now, a boarding school in central Massachusetts is being sued.